Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So some of you wanted to see what our barn cleanup looks like in doing stalls. So we're gonna take you with us to go see how that goes. During the week, it's a little different than on the weekends. During the week, the girls are off to school. So Scott goes out and he feeds the horses. I am getting the girls ready for school. Kate leaves really early in the morning. Kate leaves at like seven in the morning, so to catch her bus. I'm getting Julia ready. Scott and I go out about a half an hour later to let them out. We put more hay out in the paddocks for them. When the girls get home after school, that is when they go out and do their barn chores. So when it was brighter out in the morning before winter hit, Kate would go and do her stall before she went to school she'd get up around 5 30 and go do her stalls before but now it's really cold and dark the horses don't really want to be up and doing anything at that point so they're they're still kind of sleeping so now we feed in the morning and get them out and I'm gonna go show you now what a stall cleanup looks like at our place so every day this gets like a mess we were dropping hay down from the hayloft so it's a little extra messy bear pulls it around. and bear likes to yeah pull it around so we put bear in here because he wants to be in the barn with us when we're doing stalls he doesn't want to be outside hey get in stay no 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 so bear keeps breaking the stall here so he can drop his toys in So Bear used to love Foxy and he used to love bringing Foxy his toys. He would always bring them and lay them outside of her cell every night and since she's gone he's decided to give his toys to the goat. So he keeps breaking down the one board in the stall at night <laughs> so that he can drop his toys into the goat pen in, in case they want to play with his toys. <laughs> Scott's just fixing up that board. We fixed it with the screws that were in there before, but he's obviously knocked it out again. So we've now put longer screws in so he can't do that. So now that it's winter and it's getting cold, we just bring the gator right into the barn and then make trips to go dump it. Cause it's too hard going down the hill with the full wheel girls. Today we're doing a scrape down of the stalls, putting all fresh bedding in, but otherwise, we just work through, pick through the dirty shavings and leave clean ones. So Kate's almost done Duke's stall. Julia likes to get her stuff in the middle and like then to work to the like, outside. I like to do like the middle here and then like the walls here and then do back there. Yeah. Just easier, it goes faster. Why don't you put gloves on? Do you want my gloves? Yeah. That just missed. I think you just got that on the seats. Me? Yeah. Yeah, look. Whatever, if I did it, it's fine. It's just... <laughs> so usually during the week, we just need one gator load to go dump because we're just taking out the dirty stuff. And we just add clean shavings 
during the week. Yeah, and then we're gonna do it. Well, the or time. more if it needs it, but. Yeah, or because I But usually stuff. we're pretty good. Right now we only have three stalls to do, so it doesn't take nearly as long. Because Foxy's gone and Kyla sold, and then Luna is still at boarding, being trained. Trained on like ground manners and things like yeah, that. Yeah. Just a yearling training program, not not riding training. She's still too young for that. She's just there for a couple of months. from the barn gets very slippy in the winter. Even right now there's no snow, but it just gets really slippy in the winter. So we're using the gator, it's so much easier. And then this is our manure pile and Scott brings it over here. Like he turns it cause we then use this for compost. As long as we get enough oxygen and organic material in there and we're turning it over, it turns into amazing compost. So he lines this area, it's really poor soil here. So we're on a multi-year plan to build up this soil. We've got different compost piles here that are aged differently. So some are more composted than others. And then we also use it in the back corner where we also do gardening. And we're also using it just in the initial tree line here to kill out the poison ivy. We realized things grow really well in here, like our vegetables and stuff like that, but the poison ivy doesn't. <laughs> so we've started doing that. Scott's taken the old pile that was here and he's spread that along. It was like really composted. It's been working for a couple of years and he's put the new pile here. So over the winter, he's gonna keep turning it and composting it. All right, it's freezing back here, so I'm gonna get back to the barn. Kate's back still sore from her fall, her neck and her shoulder, so Scott's just putting the shavings bags in. Multiple bags to get in here. Fill it right up. Bear likes to grab the shavings bags. Okay, buddy. Nope. Shavings and feed bags are his favorite thing to grab. Let go. Good boy. Good boy. Get some goat snuggles. Gideon and Poppy are getting really big. This is Tulip and Daisy. They were at the Santa parade in their adorable little Santa outfits. If you saw that video. Okay, so we are just in from doing stalls outside and we're having snacks. I'm gonna go watch some Christmas movies. Kate is taking a break after stalls by making edible cookie dough. It's got no like egg or milk or anything, right? Yeah, milk is. Milk, but no egg or anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My camera's fogging up because we just came from outside and it's so freezing that it's fogging up in the temperature difference <laughs> now that we're in the house. The kitchen was spotless before and- It still is. All of a sudden it's an absolute disaster. Hey, mommy. It's like impossible to keep this place clean. There's cracker boxes out, cleaning stuff, dirty dishes, dishes that Julia needs to put away. Hey, the everything sink. I've used, I've put away. No, that's Kate's. No, that's your job. I am being. Uh, you empty the dishes and Kate puts them in. I, Does everyone think that this sink is emptied of <laughs> clean dishes? Yes, I do, actually. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think Julie's one is empty. Yeah. And then dishwasher, is the dishwasher full? Yeah. Is there room to put more dishes in? It is it's clean. clean. Oh, okay, no. so. No. Kate, do it. No, you empty. 
and Kate fills. I'm not doing that right now. Yes, actually you are. Quick, so that the dirty dishes can go in and we can get this kitchen cleaned up. Okay, so Kate's edible cookie dough recipe. That I took from YouTube. Yeah, this belongs to somebody else, I, but we don't know. Who no, I wrote down the recipe and then I like. Whoever it is, thank you. Yeah. This is like the best so, thing ever. You need a quarter cup of brown sugar. Packed brown sugar. Yeah, packed brown sugar. Oh, and how much butter? Uh, a quarter cup. So far, we're off to a very healthy start. One and a half tablespoons of white sugar. So I've tried using a batter to like mix, like not you a, mean batter, a batter, a beater is what I meant. Oh, like an electric beater? Yeah, to do this part, but there's like not enough stuff in it. So no. <laughs> there wouldn't be. It doesn't really work. And then you need half a teaspoon of vanilla. Mix it all in. So, so far a bunch of sugar, <laughs> butter, <laughs> and salt. No, and salt. Don't forget and about the vanilla. You're supposed to have like- This is definitely not something to have often. <laughs> you're supposed to have like a quarter teaspoon of salt and then you need half a cup of flour. I'll probably need more because this one's stickier, but. Honestly, the, the milk is only to like get it to stick together. So like if it's sticking together, I don't really add milk. You're supposed to add three quarter tablespoons of milk and like keep adding it until it's done. And yeah, that's good. That's good. So you're just doing just enough milk to make it stick, stick together. Here. Sometimes it sticks together better than others. You need chocolate chips. All right, now let's go watch the Grinch and have some snacks before See you on our day.